remade you in his image. But we remade you in ours. So that's it? That's your entire plan? Not, not to make something of your own, just to, just to destroy us? No. Our plan is to hurt him, to punish him. And we do that by destroying what he loves, which is you. You're nothing but a means to an end. What are you doing, James? I think we're done here. We can't be. We are. You have all the hallmarks of belief. I'm convinced you actually believe what you're telling me. I didn't at first, but uh, I do now. You're gonna declare me insane. I'm gonna concur with Dr. Fisher's findings that you're mentally incompetent at this time. Can't do that, James. And likely at the time the crimes are committed, rendering you unfit for execution. Can't do that. I can. And I will. Insane, James. You and I both know it. I'm not crazy. I'm sorry, Edward. You've been through a terrible ordeal, and you're probably longing for an escape from all that you've been through. But I cannot morally say that you are sane. It would be murder. Why? Because I don't have $3.6 million? Is that it, James? We're done. Are we, James? I told you before you'd leave here today, you would have committed three murders. And I told you that wasn't going to happen. Mm. Say, James, what's Melanie up to today? As a matter of fact, what's she up to right now? She doesn't have a clue you're about to break up with her, does she? Of course, you're not gonna until you have somebody else lined up the right, because you're that kind of guy. Well, you already have your sights on somebody, don't you? Yeah, I can smell it all the way from here. She thinks she's doing this to maintain the relationship. She'd like to have a child with you, James. Oh, but you're just not, 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 not quite ready yet, are you? After all, you're only 35. Imagine the joy in your little Cinderella's heart when she realizes she's butchered the baby in her belly for nothing. Look, I don't know what you think you know, but any decision that was made between me and my girlfriend was her choice. Oh, I think we both know better, James. Stop it. Don't you think you should be there when it's being done? I said stop Hold it. her hand, maybe? I'll tell you what you could do, James. You could walk right there to the guard station, pick up that cell phone, make a phone call that stops everything in its tracks. You could apologize to her, tell her you made a horrible mistake that you love her. You want to spend the rest of your life with her. You want to marry her, and you want to hold that child. James, you could tell her that. You could make your life about sacrificial love, and you could play live-in therapist for the rest of your life. I can't do that. No, James, why not? It's complicated. That's my boy, James. That's him right there. I don't understand. Oh, I think I do, James. I think I understand. It's another problem. Easily solved, though, isn't it? That's not it. I can't care about it, but I'm... What? I'm not ready to be a father. It's, it's, it's her body. She can, she can do what she wants. Do what thou wilt. That shall be the whole of the law. Arrogant son of a... Who, who are you to judge me? This is my life. I, I can live it the way I want. Yes, James! I couldn't have said it better myself. But it's still murder. Says who? Says all of creation. James, the creator creates, and we destroy, and we do all of it through you. We always have. Did you forget your history, Jimmy? Even in ancient times, the archdemon Moloch was celebrated by tossing infants into flaming bonfires, accompanied, of course, by the beating of drums to drown out the screaming. 
Later on, they erected a giant bronze statue with outstretched arms, kindling fires beneath the palms. And when they'd toss a little infant into those open palms, they'd flinch at the red-hot metal, but then they'd willingly roll themselves off into the flames. What does any of that have to do with me? Oh, nothing, James. Especially since the priests now wear surgical scrubs. The killing takes place in the wounds, so there's no screaming to be heard anyway. And the remains are tossed into gas-fired crematoriums. No, James, no, 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 no. There's no parallel whatsoever to you. Can you imagine the agony the carpenter feels when we rip a child to pieces inside its own mother's womb? Because that's what we do, James. You and us. We do that together. You're sick. You know, that might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me, James. Can you feel it? Can you feel it, James? It's starting to happen. Your unborn son is now on our altar. Here it comes. Open up! <laughs> 